starting off today in Treviso, 59.4 kilometres ahead of the riders. And the first 30, quite benign. There's a couple of other little peaks to be taken, not least at the end into Val de Barine. And that's 7% incline, and then it is a nasty downhill run with a kick up at the end. It's a mixed bag yet again, and a day where we're going to have difficulty, potentially anyway, um, exactly predicting who's going to win this one. And there, just how difficult is a time trial bike. You see the first slew and crash across the road, his team car close at hand. It shows you these bikes are not necessarily the best handling, and Rutkovic just uh, visiting the barriers, unfortunately, and late on as well. He seemed to get away with that, though, didn't he? He didn't even have any rips to his skin suit from the looks of things. Here comes uh, Tosato, I think that is, just coming across the line now. For lots of people, it's just about getting through, really, today. This is outstanding. 75 metres to go, maybe just outside. Let's have a look. Line approaching, and Kirienka, he is a war horse, and today he did it for himself. Richie Port could have just been down in the dumps today, thinking, oh, I've just got lost all chance of winning this Giro Italia overall. Or he could have come back with the fighting spirit, and that's what I think is going to be the case for him today. He's also got the motivation, of course, <laughs> that he's got the national colours on his back. He wants to show the Australian champion skin suits in a good light over this time trial. I'm afraid this is Richie Port slipping further down the order, as far as we know. We understand there might have been a very slight change in wind direction today, which might well play into the hands the early starters, so Kirienka might well be uh, rubbing his hands together with uh, the prospects of a stage win. Here we go, Contador's off the ramp, can he possibly take back King? He's certainly got the crowd behind him as well. The lot stacked in his favour, but can he pull out the time trial performance of his life? and hold on to the pink jersey. We don't believe so today. Uh, time's falling away, but we're still seeing some great ones posted further up the course here at the finish line. Look at that. Well, that was a very, very close one, wasn't it? Well, 56 there for one minute and 54. It's not too, too bad, but he has lost 48 seconds on Alberto Contador. And here he is, top 10 at this point. Thank you very much, you'll say, for that 1 minute 15. I think Kirienka knows he's got the day. <laughs> Alberto Contador, there it is. This is very good. What's he saved towards the end? This is outstanding, frankly. This is such an emphatic performance on a time trial bike. Contador, absolutely brilliant. That is an amazing performance by him. He's certainly going to get on the day's podium. Luis Leon Sanchez time is there as well. 50 metres to go. Contador has announced himself big time. It's ringing out down the valleys. Beware, Contador is absolutely back to his best. It's not his day. And you know what? It's not his pink jersey either. There's the line. What's the time? Oh, this is going to hurt. He's out of the saddle, trying to drag it over. Wow.